going on guys? It's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com and I want to show you guys how to do parallel compression in the MPC software. Now parallel compression, also known as New York compression, is basically a way to get audio to pop out in the mix without it actually making it louder. Or in other words, it makes it appear to be louder, but it doesn't actually make it that much louder to where, you know, it's going to change your actual volume of your, of your audio. So what it entails is basically running a heavily compressed it doesn't have to be heavily compressed, but basically running a compressed signal alongside the identical dry signal or something. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how to do it on drums, but you can do it on vocals, you can do it on instruments, you can do it on percussions or whatever. But uh, like I said, we're gonna try this on drums to basically get uh, the drums to pop out a little bit more and you know hit a little bit harder. So I have a beat going here. You know, and the drums, they're hitting pretty good, you know, you know, they're knocking a little bit, but uh, I want to, I want them to come out a little bit more, um, especially uh, when, when vocals get added to this, you know, you're really going to want to use this technique. So, so the compressor that I love to use for this technique is the Universal Audio 1176. Um, normally when I'm working in Pro Tools, I use this UAD version. I like the black version the best, but they have, you know, blue ones, um, you know, uh, silver and you basically just choose whichever one fits your needs um, but in this case uh, I'm not gonna use this one because the UAD plugins cause a lot of latency and uh, the MPC software doesn't have plug-in delay compensation so as an alternative when I'm doing mixing in the MPC software I'll use the uh, Waves CLA 76 um, and there's also uh, a version by IK Multimedia, which is also really good. Pro Tools also has one built in. Um, it's an Avid version, um, but I, f I personally like the UAD one the best, but uh, this Waves one is really good too. So that's the one I'm gonna use in this demonstration. So so I as you can see, I already have the plugins uh, instantiated where I want them. Um, you wanna set this up on an auxiliary track you don't want to put this directly on your drums so in this case we're going to put the compressor right on this auxiliary return and then the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the fader all the way down because i don't want to hear it right away um then i'm just gonna go into my drum program mixer and i'm gonna find my kick and my snare And I'm gonna send both of them at 100% to that auxiliary, which is number one. Okay, so now when we go in here, we pull up our compressor. You can see we have audio coming in. Right now it's being really, really compressed, so. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to dial this input back some. I might dial it back a little bit more, but I just wanted to go over something. So uh, the attack, we, we want kind of a middle to slow attack because we wanted the, the, the drums to snap and crack. The release, I like to have it so the needle is bouncing in rhythm with the, with the, uh, with the beat. Um, basically, the, re the release is going to go along with the tempo of the music, and that's going to um, give you a nice, smooth you know, uh, uh, release and compression. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play around with these parameters and, and get it looking the way I like, and then we're going to bring the audio in, and we're going to tweak it by ear so right now the release is a little too slow I'm gonna speed it up a little bit I'm gonna bring the attack a little bit quicker too. And 
And the more you go clockwise on these, the faster they go. Just so you know. So now that I have visually uh, a signal that I think I like, I'm going to bring in the actual audio and, and blend it together and then, you know, tweak a little bit more to try to get it to, to actually sound the way I want. So I'm just going to play this back and then we're going to bring this return fader up and we're going to blend this compressed signal in with the dry signal. And as I do this, pay attention to the main master meter. You're going to hear the drums um, appear to sound louder, but the meter is not actually going to go up too much higher. It might go up uh, maybe one or two bars, if anything, uh, but it's not going to go into clipping. So let's check it out. down a little bit bring some more output now this might work better for some sources than others like for example in this case I can hear that this snare is causing some phasing issues the more I push this volume up in that case what I would normally do is maybe EQ the snare you know change some of the frequencies or just replace the snare altogether but for the sake of the demo I'm just gonna you know show you how to actually do the technique and then you know you can experiment on your own with your own sounds all right so a little slower release Alright, so I'm liking the way that sounds. Let's see how it sounds without it. And you can see, again, the master is not really changing that much at all, even though we're adding what looks to be a whole bunch of extra gain into the signal. Push this up a little more. Then once you're done, you can go ahead and finish mixing or go ahead and put your limiter on, you know, do whatever you want to do to get it to, you know, the final mix. But that's basically how you do this technique in the MPC. Like I said, you can do this on vocals, you can do it on instruments, you can do it on drums, you can do it on, uh, you can do it on just a kick or you can do it on just a snare. Uh, in this case, I didn't include the hi-hat, but you can do that as well. It just all depends on how you wanna do it. So just experiment with it. Um, try some different compressors out. Try, uh, you know, more ex extreme compression. Like uh, if you want, you can, really cramp this thing down and bring down the output to compensate you know it's like you know whatever you want to do so yeah there's really no rules to it just try it see what you like you know and and and, and make it work for you all right so drop your comments leave some questions make sure you hit that subscribe button peace